Hey y'all, welcome to GU week here at UWorld. Uh, let's jump right in to our first NCLEX question of the day this week. Our question today says, the nurse is assessing a client who had an arteriovenous fistula created in the right forearm three days ago. Which of the following findings would require immediate follow-up? So notice that word immediate is in bold. So we are looking for um, a finding that is the most dangerous, indicates the worst complication, something that is potentially life-threatening, um, things like that. And then with our fistula, our arteriovenous fistula or AV fistula um, is a preferred method of access for clients who are receiving hemodialysis. Um, it it it's really the best. Once we create it, it takes a while to mature, a few months before we can start using it. Um, but it is a really, really safe and, and great option for clients that require long-term hemodialysis. Um, so option one says pain at the fistula site rated as four on a scale of zero to 10. Uh, this is gonna be an incorrect option. While we do want to follow up on that pain, um, you know, is it normal since they just had this place three days ago? Is it indicative of something that's wrong? We're not really sure, um, but it's not the highest priority once we read through the rest of the options here, okay? Option two, uh, it says a whooshing sound auscultated over the fistula. Um, this doesn't require follow-up. This is actually a good sign. Um, that indicates a brewy. Is that kind of like whooshing sound um, when you put your stethoscope over the fistula? And you should also be able to feel a palpable thrill um, on a fistula as well. That indicates that we have blood flowing um, through the vein like it should be. So with a the fistula, they take um, basically an artery in a vein, um, hook them up for lack of a better word. And so you have arterial blood flow through a vein. And because arterial blood flow moves with more force than venous blood typically does, um, you'll be able to see it or not see it. I'm sorry, feel it and hear it um, with that, that brewery and thrill. Okay. Uh, option three says a um, plus one radial pulse in the right arm. Um, this does require immediate follow-up. This is our correct option here. Um, a a plus one pulse indicates a diminished pulse. We can barely feel it. Um, because we've been in there, we've been messing around with our arteries and veins, right? We could have impaired perfusion and then limb ischemia eventually, um, and you know, possibly lose that arm if we don't intervene. So this is something we um, would immediately want to report to the healthcare provider. Uh, and then option four, uh, it says two plus edema on the right arm. Um, so this might require follow-up, right? We don't know um, how edematous this arm has been since they placed the fistula. Um, we may run require follow-up or at least intervene, right? Elevate that on um, a pillow, um, those kind of things, but definitely not as big of a deal as potential uh, loss of limb. So option three is our correct option here.